black Ram 313 back at it again. You know why? It's because this is therapeutic, man. Back again with another video, hence another therapy session. Today's topic and title is she gains control in her relationships by doing this. Part two of the fee fail game series uncovering how she uses game to get what she wants. Jumping right into the subject matter at hand. Here we go. Now, the most important thing in a fee fails life, contrary to popular belief, is not the shoes. It's not the clothes, the purses, men or money. No. What is most important to her What's more important to her than any God, family or her kids or even life itself. Is her own feelings. Those items mentioned aforehand are items that are used to induce certain feelings. A means to an end and not the end of itself. For her, it's feelings over everything. This is the very essence of her entire being. Feelings. How she feels from second to second is more important than air. Her feelings mean more to her than anything. As men, we think and see the world. But she feels the world. She becomes and is the world feelings. This is why you will see the creature act out at the most inopportune time and places. The succubi acts up. She fights, curses, yells, and screams at the wedding, the funeral or in public. When the feeling is there, the creature will act according to it. No matter who, what, when or where feelings lead her the world has to stop and acknowledge the succubi's feelings now in a relationship she expects you as a man to put her feelings above everything as well just like she does as her guy this is your purpose in life to place her feelings on the pedestal for worship she expects and demands that you will always put her feelings above everything just as she does. This is what it means to love her from her perspective. Love for her is someone who prioritizes her feelings above all. Don't say that. Don't do that. Don't act like that. Don't go there because it may hurt her feelings. Again, you can sum up. The essence of the Jaquita banana, the rabies snow bunny, the succubus as feelings over everything. Again, her feelings are more important than anyone or anything, even more important than hypergamy. Her feelings dictate everything in her life. And since feelings are the center of her universe, she seeks to control you through those very same feelings. I'll explain why momentarily. And since you as a man, some of you anyway, have been programmed to simp, by this I mean you've been programmed to react to a female's cries, her moods, her emotions, her feelings, her needs and desires. She can and will use this programming to control the dynamics of the relationship. Ah, yes. The reality of female nature. <laughs> now you were told by your mama to treat the female as a goddess, to put her before yourself, put her above all those, and to even put the females that you don't know ahead of yourself as well perfect strangers you were taught to react to her tears and disappointment you were taught that everything must stop if her feelings are hurt in any way weren't you 
Now, she was taught since birth that the way you get what you want from guys is through the expression of her emotions. Babies cry so that you will feed them, change them and pay attention to them. And this is no different for the creature, for the creature does the same thing to get what it wants. The use of emotional expressions and outbursts to get what she wants, thus control over the guy she's in a relationship with. Are you seeing this clearly now? Are you understanding this? You're programmed to react to her emotions and she is programmed by society and innately to express those emotions to get what she wants for the control. Think about it. Open your eyes and see reality for what it is. So let me explain by illustrating five ways that she seeks to control men through her various feelings and emotion. Drop me a beat. And here we go. Number one, how she gains control is because you don't want to see her cry. You feel bad when you see her tears. You want to make her smile, don't you? But more than that, you don't want her tears to turn her loving heart, as you perceive it, away from you. You fear her tears will cause her to no longer want to deal with you. Her tears make you apologetic, weak and scared. Her tears move you to act to console her, to give her special attention and or to change whatever behavior that causes her to cry. This is control by indirect means. This is her chief manipulation tool. She can cry at will, but you believe her acting. You are a big dummy, aren't you? You're scared, a scared dummy at that. Listen, I'm giving you the secrets. This is something she doesn't want you to know. Shh, keep it under wraps. Secrets are being revealed right here and right now. Number two, how she gains control is because you are programmed and because you don't want to upset her. I've heard many married men and men who live with their lady say, I'm just trying to keep peace in my house. This is the married man's mantra. You are afraid of her. You walk on eggshells around her. You tiptoe around the house. If she's upset, mm -mm, you get no rest. Careful now of what you say and what you do because her wrath is fierce. You are afraid of your woman and it shows. She wears the pants. She's the boss. Her feelings are law around your house where's your manhood your pair is where in her purse number three how she gains control is because she brings up old stuff grudges to make you feel guilt to punish you indirectly by the past a past feeling that you caused her and upset a disappointment or heartbreak that you caused her she brings these things up to remind you to honor her feelings. So correct yourself. Check yourself. Put her feelings first. They are sacred. Don't make her upset. Hurt her feelings or make her cry again. Remember the past. Number four. How she gains control is by the fake breakup. She leaves the house. She stops calling. She breaks up with you because of your behavior and because your behavior is not quite exactly what she wants it to be. So she fakes the breakup knowing that her man and knowing that most men are emotionally weak and will most likely crawl to her on hand and knee saying, baby, please give me another chance to be a better man, to be a better simp. For many guys, their manhood is non existent when it comes to the female and these type of guys believe that they were born to serve the female so the fake breakup is discipline and correction for the weak the weak males that is 
Now, have you ever begged your lady for a chance? Have you promised your gal that you will behave better? You can be honest. This is therapy. You ain't got to pretend to be no man around me. I can see the feminine in you. Baba. I have many married friends that pretend that they're men. No, 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 no. You're but a boy. Number five. How she gains control is through the ultimatum. Hmm. James, I'm leaving you if you don't change. I'm tired of this. Yes. The classic ultimatum. Nothing strikes fear in a man's heart like this does. For the real man, once a female gives you an ultimatum, it's over. Let her go. Because right there, she is taking your manhood from you completely. Now the simp will cave in, but the real man will let her go. Only the strong can choose his manhood over his relationship. Most married men that I know don't have such manhood. Their manhood is taken away and most married men have a mother in his home that pretends to be a wife. She has ultimate control. So weak, so sad. But is this you? And if it is, you need therapy. So keep listening. But for a lot of guys, you have to ask them, especially the married guys, hey, Bubba, what's wrong? Are you sad because your wife won't let you go out with the guys from work? Are you sad that your wife imposed a curfew? Yeah, see, you're not a man, you're a mouse. Such a sad state to be in. Instead of running your house, you run around your house, don't you? So in closing, she uses her moods, attitude, her feelings, her emotions to get you to do what she wants. You are scared to disappoint your woman. You're afraid to say no to your woman. You're afraid to make her mad and make her cry. This is manipulation. As the beta male that you are, you worship your woman, don't you? You put her on a pedestal. You will always be in service to her interest and her interest alone. You are a good bitch as a man to your woman and most of you will remain that way but for others let this be a light shining in the dark choose your manhood and choose your principles over that relationship and let that dirty bird fly this is therapy some men are making that transition from blue to purple to red I understand and sympathize But be aware, these are the ways that she makes you the beta. These are the ways that she gains control. She controls her relationship through her feelings. By you putting her feelings first and by her putting her feelings first and foremost. Man up. Like the video? Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification button so that you will not miss a Black Realm 313 video. In the description box are links to the second channel, to the PayPal account, and to the Patreon. Do with them as you wish. And until next time, my brother, man up! Black Realm 313, and I'm out.